Hello, welcome to Lil's Winter World. Today I have a book review for you of Elizabeth and Her German Garden by Elizabeth von Arnhem. This book was published anonymously in 1898 and is a diary format of a woman called Elizabeth whose happy place is her garden. So she loves sitting in the garden all day, watching the world go by, listening to the birds, watching them in the trees. She likes looking at the flowers and watching things grow. That is her happy place. Um, perhaps with a book in hand, a cup of tea in the other, that is where she's happiest and that's what she loves doing all day and everything else in the world is an inconvenience to her so her husband who she calls the man of wrath her children who she calls her april may and june babies and the worst of all house guests she hates them absolute inconvenience to her so this essentially is a diary format of this woman having a bit of a moan um it's quite funny in a lot of places at the beginning of this book i thought she was an absolutely awful woman um there's a little bit of a spoiler for you. Uh, so at the beginning of the book, she sees this a baby owl and she decides to cage the baby owl and put it back in the tree. And then the next day she's like, oh my gosh, what have I done? That is an absolutely terrible thing. I feel so bad. She goes to the cage. The cage has been opened. She presumes the mom has like forced the cage open. And one of the babies is dead on the floor. And I was just like, what a horrendous woman. She's like, oh my gosh, I can't forgive myself. I can't forgive myself. And I'm like, oh, she's absolutely vile. But then I kind of warm to her in a way. She is a woman who does an awful lot of moaning, an awful lot, um, and she's quite funny. She can be a bit self-centred, well a bit, she she can be quite self-centred self um, and she has these visions of what her garden's like. She's just a woman that's completely obsessed by her garden and that's what she loves and everything else just kind of gets on her nerves. The humour of this book is quite sassy to say the least. Um, there is a moment in this which I think is a great example of this humour where she gets frustrated by her gardener. She does go through gardeners like the clappers um, because she wants to do it herself and she can't do it herself because this is a Victorian period and she's a woman of social standing so she can't get a spade and do it herself. She has to let the gardeners do it. But the gardeners do things in rows and neatness and she's not about that. She's about like wildlife and she wants things to look maybe how more God intended rather than how a gardener intended it um, and she gets frustrated and uh, trying to describe the vision of the garden to quote a person with no vision and no brains. Uh, I thought that was quite sassy, it's quite cruel as well and um, she's always kind of on that edge. Um, yeah. I think the main reason why I found this book really entertaining was her passion for the garden. I think if I didn't love gardening as much as I do I probably wouldn't have liked this book as much and she would have actually probably got on my nerves but because I love gardening so much I actually rather enjoyed this book and I couldn't help but try and read as much as I can of it outside in my own garden amongst the roses and all my beautiful wild flowers just growing. It's lovely. So I gave this book four out of five stars and I would love to know if you've read it or if you plan on reading it soon. If you want to get your hands on a copy, it'll be linked in the description bar below. So that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Take care and I shall see you again soon for the next one. Bye for now.